click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends now we are going to discuss the full ladders in detail let's start with the explanation Now what is the basic logic behind full adder as the word here is adder so it is used for the addition purpose it is a part of arithmetic circuits full adder is used to add 3 single bit binary numbers now for full adder two outputs are there that are again sum and carry if you compare with half adder half adder is used to add two bits and full adder is used to add three binary bits so if you consider the block diagram so block diagram consists of full adder fa is a full adder three inputs you have to show a b and c and outputs you are getting as sum and carry now next step is to design truth table so if you design truth table first of all you have to search for what how many variables are present over here so number of input variables present over here are 3 that's why how many combinations you are going to use 0 to 7 means eight combinations you are going to use here let's start with the table this is the input side and here is the output side now in input side you have variables a b and c after that you have sum and carry now how many combinations you have to do eight so start with 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 2 0 0 3 4 5 6 and 7 all these are the binaries for 0 to 7 now after that you have to calculate the sum and carry part so if you write 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 again 0 carry is 0 so we will consider the case 1 if a equals to 0 b is equals to 0 and c is equals to 0 then s is equals to 0 and carry is equals to 0 because 0 plus 0 is 0 and again 0 adds with 0 finally you are getting final answer as 0 now case 2 if a is equals to 0 b is equals to 0 and c is equals to 1 then now we are going to define carry completely over here carry equals to 0 then 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 that's why sum is 1 carry is 0 so we will write here sum is 1 and carry as 0 because 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 now case 3 if a is equals to 0 b is equals to 1 and c is equals to 0 then sum is equals to we are going to calculate like this 0 plus 1 we are getting 
then 1 plus 0 we are getting 1 that's why sum equals to 1 and carry again equals to 0 so that's why final sum is 1 and carry we are getting as 0 now case 4 if a is equals to 0 b equals to 1 and c equals to 1 then what we have to add 0 plus 1 you are getting as 1 you have to take this 1 for further addition 1 plus 1 it is 1 0 so answer is 0 and carry is 1 so at the output you are getting sum as 0 and carry as 1 sum as 0 and carry as 1 now case 5 if a is equals to 1 b is equals to 0 c is equals to 0 then we will add here 1 plus 0 you are getting 1 you have to take this 1 for further process again 1 plus 0 you are getting 1 so finally you are getting sum as 1 and carry as 0 so sum equals to 1 and carry equals to 0 now case 6 if a is equals to 1 b is equals to 0 and c equals to 1 then just add by binary addition 1 plus 0 is 1 and consider 1 for further process so 1 plus 1 is 1 0 so sum is 0 and carry is 1 so we are getting sum is equals to 0 and carry equals to 1 so we will append here sum as 0 carry as 1 now case 7 when a is equals to 1 b is equals to 1 and c is equals to 0 then 1 plus 1 you are getting 1 0 means carry is equals to 1 and sum is equals to 0 again 0 plus 0 you are getting 0 means sum is 0 and carry is 1 so finally you are getting as sum is 0 and carry as 1 now case 8 when a is equals to 1 b is equals to 1 and c is equals to 1 then you have to do 1 plus 1 as 1 0 sum is 0 carry is 1 again you have to consider this 0 for further process 0 plus 1 is 1 so finally you will write sum as 1 and carry is also as 1 so both terms are what 1 and 1 because 1 plus 1 is 1 0 sum is 0 carry is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 and already your carry was 1 in this way you have to form this table you have to generate the outputs for sum and carry and after that you can design the circuit using the k map so let's start the k map for sum and carry outputs so we will start by considering the outputs of full ladder so we have this output for full ladder sum column and carry column for designing purpose we are going to use these columns now with the use of k map now k map for sum we will draw so it is a three variable k map
सो वी विल ड्रॉ हियर थ्री वेरिएबल के मैप ए बी एंड सी जीरो 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 वन 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 जीरो हियर जीरो वन इन सेट द टेबल वी विल राइट जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन लॉजिक वन बिकॉज एस ओ पी एक्सप्रेशन आई एम गोइंग टू कंसिडर सो लॉजिक वन सो इन सेट वन इन सेट द बॉक्सेस वन टू थ्री जीरो फोर फाइव इज जीरो सिक्स इज जीरो एंड सेवन Now we have inserted all the outputs of the truth table for sum. Now the process of grouping starts. Now if you see here, we can't make any group. We have to write the individual expression for individual ones. So for this one, we will write here. If you consider the next logic one, the equation is a bar b c bar. For this one, we will write here a, b, and c. For next one, we will write here a, b bar, c bar. And finally, we are going to write a bar b bar c plus a bar b c bar. Plus a b c plus a b bar c bar. In this way, you have to form your S O P expressions. Now you have to calculate the minimize equation. Now the next portion is you have to focus on this c. So if you take c outside, what you will get a bar b bar plus a b. Plus, if you consider on these two terms, c bar is common. You will get a bar b plus a b bar. So this is the output of x or gate, and this is the output of x nor gate. So let x or gate output as x we have denoted so x nor can be written as x bar because it is a complement of x or so the above equation we can write here as y is equals to c x bar plus c bar x so again we can write here c x or x now here x equals to what a x or b so if you write here equation 1 so from equation 1 you will write here c x or a x or b so finally your answer is y is equals to a x or b x or c this y is nothing but your sum so sum equals to a x or b x or c in minimized form so for full adder if the three inputs you have you have to make a xor operation on that now k map for carry here three variables are there so that's why we will draw here three variable k map a b and c 0001111100 and 1 so 01234567 now if you see this carry table you have to mention logic one only because we are going to consider sop expressions and logic one you have to write over here so we will write here 
then for 3 it is 1 again for 4 it is 0 then 1 1 and 1 so you have to make a group we will take a group of these two the equation is here is a b for these two the equation is a is same b is changing so we are not going to consider b and here one is there means c a c after that you have remaining two ones so we can make a group of that and your final answer is b because a is changing and again c so for carry your equation is ac plus ab plus bc so in this way you have to calculate the final equation for carry this is the equation for sum and this becomes your equation for the carry now the next part is the logic diagram let's see the logic diagram so we have two equations for sum and carry we are going to realize the circuits this is the xor addition so we will draw the xor gate considering the addition of all these three inputs so we have to just mention the number of inputs over here a b and c finally some output you will get here as a x or b x or c and for carry you have to draw and gate apply a and b for this one second and gate you apply b and c and for third and gate you will apply a and c after that some part is there so you have to apply or gate for carry and finally you will get here a b b c and a c you just have to write here carry equals to In this way you have to realize the circuit for full adder. It is used for the addition of three binary single bit. This is all about the concept of full adder. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.